What is going on people of YouTube? My name is Kurt Yo and today we've got a review for the last game week, game week 3. A game week that had its ups and its downs for me. I somehow got 52 points, it was looking very bleak at times. And also, Barkley's my captain, I'll discuss that later. But 52 points, first of all, I just want to say... Yep, I lost again. Only just. And I feel like mistakes were made that were my fault, and that would have changed everything. Looking at his team, um, he also had a failed on his captain. His captain was Aguero, he didn't do anything. Um, also, his um, midfield really didn't turn up with Sanchez, Silver, and Depay all just getting clean sheets. But the clean sheets is what matters. They've got big players in there, and all the strikers performed bar Aguero, who got four points anyway. Got a lot of points in the end, did very well. Highest 110 points. Uh, I haven't looked at this team yet. How yeah, did he do then? Bloody hell. Oh, mind you, Morris is your captain. Color of us, 15. You played his all bench boost cards. I get Pedro was 13. <sighs> I think everything went right for him. But anyway, um, looking at my team, um, I want to discuss something quickly before I review how everyone did. Um, first of all, uh, my bench was Mares, Company, and Diamond. I forgot to change my team. My team that I was playing was um, Koscielny instead of Company, and that was it. I didn't change anything. I made my transfers, played my wild card, and that's it. <coughs> Sorry, my voice is still getting better from the weekend. I did lose it. But it should be okay now, and it is making me cry. <laughs> oh, that's very, very um, sad. But um, no, I did mess up my team. In all fairness, though, I would have taken out our um, Maverick, I would have taken out Barkley, and also Hazard. I didn't think Hazard would do much against West Brom. He did get an assist. So my team, if I'd gone to pick team quickly, would have looked a little bit like um, we would have taken um, Go oh, Maverry out, sorry, um, for Damian. We would have taken him out, and we would have taken him out like that. That would be my team. Captain, I wouldn't know who I would have put. Um, but basically, just so I know, I hopefully was going to get a clean sheet from any of them. If Kishon was playing, I would have got a clean sheet from all three of them, but company came in anyway, which is lucky. However, I didn't do any of that, and I didn't change my captain as well. And that's where I think I faltered. If I would have got my captain right, and things would have been bit, um, different. In the end, though, um, it would have looked like I would have had to have um, all my uh, Amafri coming in anyway, um, instead of Koscielny or someone else, which, um, you know, is a bummer. But we got 52 points. What matters is, is that, look, we're going up in every single group, which is fantastic. It's what we want to see, it's what we want to do. And, um, personally, everyone did well. Um, Silva, you know, he played well. I feel like he did. He was put on a silent person that win. Um, company solid in the clean sheet. Czech had a phenomenal game. Um, people doubting Czech after his first two games, letting in goals in both three goals in two games, and unlike Czech start, but he proved he still got it, making a whopping eight saves. Some of them were out of this world, making getting the extra points for saves, getting the three bonus points and the four clean sheets. It's nothing else of what he deserved, and he's doing quite well so far. Um, 11 points, I expect a huge influx on him, especially as they, those people got rid of him. I was stuck with him because I felt like Liverpool weren't going to challenge. And the reason I felt that is because they got one goal against Bournemouth. Uh, they got one goal against Villa too. Or um, who'd they start off against? Um, no, Stoke. It was Stoke away, then Bournemouth at home. So I felt like going to Arsenal, not going to get anything. Um, I didn't know if Arsenal were going to get anything. Um, but they didn't get anything. Which is good. And no, neither, neither of them got anything. So... I'm happy if Gomez was a captain, because that would have boosted my points up, still wouldn't have been enough. Uh, if I would have got my team correct, the way I wanted to play, I think I would have beaten him. Even with minusing Hazard's points out, getting Mares in, and also getting Darmian in instead of Amavi, um, or instead of, um, sorry, Barkley, have changed my captain, I would have beat him. Which is unfortunate, but, you know, it's, it's, it's for the future. It's looking good. And, um, you know, as far as the attackers did, Lukaku was, wasn't doing that well. Um, you know, playing at City, though. Dini, again, was silent. He has got one assist to his name, but again he was silent, and uh, that's worrying. And also Gomez again, proving that he's in form. You know, three hundred thousand odd brought him in, <coughs> and I feel like there'll be even more or a lot more people bringing him in this week. Fifty-seven thousand, three hundred thousand. He's selected by sixteen percent of people. Expect that to rise up, I think, from the next uh, during the next game week. But nevertheless, we go on to transfers, and I've already way ahead of you. I've brought in, I uh, got rid of Dean, he brought in Callum Wilson, 5.4 million. He's now 5.5 million. Basically, because I knew he was going to go up. And I think, um, I remember the wrong striker in the end, it benefited me because I, lost, uh, I gained a 0.1 million. But, um, you know, it was, it, was, it was a good performance from Wilson. You know, he got a hat trick. 
He did what you expected him to do. He got three bonus points. You know, he got 17 points. Fantastic play. Uh, a lot of people got rid of him um, uh, from their teams. But I feel like the difference between him and Deeney, um, he looks like he's depended on more than Deeney is. Watford going forward look good. Um, they look good all right and they look all right this season. Haven't actually lost yet. One of the only unbeaten teams in the league. If you look at the fact that Swansea are unbeaten, you've got these four up here that are unbeaten, and you've got Watford that are unbeaten. I think, um, yeah, you know, it's Watford and then the top four and Swansea. So six three teams are unbeaten. They haven't won yet. They still look good going forward. They haven't made maybe the progress you would have expected from a Watford team um, going forward and getting the goals, but they look good. And I feel like Wilson's going to be depended on. You saw that. He's a quality striker. And he'll definitely get you points. It's just a matter of easing him in. He's had chances in the first two games. He hasn't taken it in. Because obviously, you know, he's not had the chance yet. And taking a huge step up to the Premier League straight away, you know, it wasn't expected. But I feel like he'll get a lot more goals. Can he be 20-plus in this season? I don't think so. But you can look to get at least 10-plus, plus the assists, the work rate. He can be the penalty taker by the looks of things. Average at the least, you know, uh, I'll say minimum 10 goals this season. Guaranteed. For Wilson, as for Dini and Jerome, I do not know. <coughs> so, like I say, apologies for the coughing. So, as far as that's concerned, that is my team. Um, who did well? Well, you'll have a look at um, the dream team, or if you want to have a look at just people in general, I believe there's something. Um, form. You look at their form, you can see. Oh, I don't know what that means. That's gone the wrong one. That's not the one I went on last time. Uh, I really have no idea. You have a look at price rise. That's what I'm thinking I look at. You can snap up these um, quickly. Um, Damiano snapped up. I feel like he'll go up. Company have snapped up. He'll definitely go up. Check. I feel like this season will go up. So I'd get him in your teams. Also, maybe a Man United, Man United defender, Smalling or Shaw. Maybe not Smalling because six million is a lot for a centre back. You also look at the midfield. Mares definitely get him in your team. He's looking lively. He's looking like a character. He's got flair. He's got the work. He's got the determination. Under Ranieri, um, you know, maybe you can push him forward. I see at least maybe 6.5, 7 million odd ending on the season. Yaya Toure got in there already. Get him in. He's going to be a huge player this season. And if City are to go through and smash the league like they're looking like they're going to do this season, then um, definitely get him in there. Another one is Redmond. Um, another cheap midfielder. But I'll say if you've got the money and go for the extra a point a million, go for Mares. Um, I would go for Barkley as well. He's had one. He's had a few good starts, but against City, not going to do much. But I'd, I'd maybe wait. His price might go down because you look at the teams they've got: Spurs, Chelsea, Liverpool, United, Arsenal. You know, all those five, you know, in the next, you know, seven odd game weeks. So, maybe not doing that much, but that does mean that, you know, team they may be defending more and pushing forward. They may be looking towards him and Lukaku as two big players, you know, not big players in like height maybe, but big players in like skill level to get something out of the team. That's for strikers, well, Guerrero is going up in price. I had been tempted to maybe ditch company and bring um, someone else in. Maybe let's just say, for example, um, let's bring uh, Richards in. And then we can ditch Lukaku, and we can't get um, Aguero. Something like that I was hoping to do, but obviously I can't do that. Maybe Reece Oxford. He didn't play, though, so... Yeah, he's had a knock, apparently. I wouldn't put him in your team, personally. Avoid him, because maybe I think... It won't, he won't be good all this season, uh, but he will still be good for the, um, like the Campola campaign. Um, so it's definitely something to look out for, but not yet. Definitely not yet. And also Gomez. Gomez is the last one I'd say get in your team because they're looking lively. As far as midfielders are concerned for Swansea, um, I think you've got a good chance of getting some of them in. They're looking like they could be lively contenders. I don't think they're going up at all. Apart from Ayu. Ayu may be getting your team because Ayu's doing well. They didn't do well against Sunderland. Sunderland actually played well for once, which is you very rarely say that under a Sunderland side in the past few years. They played well against Swansea. You know, don't get any chickens. It won't last forever, Sunderland fans. Trust me on that one. But they've got, they got decent games going up. We got away against Watford, home against Everton, away against Southampton. Look lively against Southampton. You know, home to Spurs, could get something like that. Home to Stoke, away to Villa. You know, away to Norwich then, home to Bournemouth. You know, got a few big games. And to maybe get Gomez in, maybe Ayu and Montero, or Montero. I'd say definitely looking like a good choice there. But that is it for the, um, the reviews. I want to say uh, my team is looking good now. Uh, I will remember to do my team and do a review or preview sometime soon. But thank you guys for watching. If you've liked this video, then leave a like. Let me know anything in the comments down below and subscribe for the update on my uh, series. Um, before I go, though, I'll quickly check my leagues. 
um, as I look at my actual league and tell you who is on top. So congratulations Samuel Jones and peace.